Hypertrophy versus strength training. Which one is for you? Welcome to today's video of One Take, your daily butt kicking, with myself, Connor Anderton, if you don't already know who I am. I'm an online coach of 10 years who specializes in getting guys insane physique transformations and getting them incredibly strong in the process. Now, if you clicked on today's video, it is because you're wondering whether to follow a hypertrophy style training for muscle building, bodybuilding, let's say, or a strength style training program powerlifting, strongman, beginner strength, I don't know, any of this sort of stuff, okay? And it's all very individual, all very goal dependent. But we're gonna talk about it a little bit and see if I can help you out in making that decision. If the goal is to build a great physique, you wanna get way more muscular, okay? Does it really matter if you're hitting really big numbers, okay? If you're hitting a massive bench press, massive squat, massive deadlift, in the sort of one to five rep range, I would say, maybe one to four. Not really. Is it gonna age you in terms of muscular development? Not really. It does for some people, do not get me wrong. It doesn't mean that, that them rep ranges do not build muscle at all. I'm not talking in absolutes here. But what I'm saying is, is them lower rep ranges will cause massive neural fatigue. They will force training volume to be lower we will force intensity long-term to be lower in terms of getting the correct amount of working sets in the correct rep ranges with the correct percentages in order to grow correctly, okay? I don't know about you, if uh, if you've ever done a very heavy deadlift session, let's say you've got three to five working sets of so, you know 80% plus of your max, you've not got much left after that. Are you really putting in a huge back session or a huge upper body session after that and tags in different muscle groups to the full intensity that need to grow probably not <laughs> okay so you've got to you've got to think smart and think long term of what is the goal now if the goal is to have like for example a huge deadlift then yes you're going to have to train in these you know higher intensities in lower rep schemes heavier weights all this sort of stuff in order to get there doesn't mean we need to train at one rep max or anything like that, but we're going to have to train heavier more often, okay? Now, what that is going to, unfortunately, force is that your physique isn't going to be as developed from a muscularity point of view. Now, we have plenty of proof of this. I've got proof in myself from when I had my emphasis into powerlifting compared to when I had my emphasis into more hypertrophy style training, and the physique was two completely different things. One was way more muscular, one was, I don't know, Call it more dense, but one was more muscular, okay? And it's the same when you look at even elite powerlifters, world-level powerlifters, unless you're, you know, one of the genetic freaks compared to bodybuilders, okay? A powerlifter will look a certain way. They might have smaller shoulders. They might have way smaller arms, all this sort of stuff compared to a bodybuilder who will have way bigger shoulders, way bigger arms, yet one can bench press more than the other, okay? Make it make sense, right? It just proves that, with strength doesn't always come with a, a pure hypertrophic, is that even a word? Response, okay? You need good amounts of frequency in the muscle. You need to be stimulating muscle protein synthesis as much as possible within that. And you need to be training in rep ranges within certain percentages of max, not too high, that are gonna stimulate a hypertrophy, hypertrophic response compared to the strength stuff, okay? So it's all very individual. It's all just about making your own decision on what is gonna benefit you the most. Again, do you want a great physique? Okay, train more like a bodybuilder. Do you wanna be one of the strongest guys <laughs> that you know that are in the gym or whatever? Maybe train more like a powerlifter. It doesn't mean you have to be absolutely exclusive, of course, because if you are training like a powerlifter, doing a lot of bodybuilding style, hypertrophy based work, will age your strength work massively. You know, generally, not always, of course, because you know, when we're comparing power to bodybuilders, but if you're a powerlifter with a bigger muscle, that muscle is probably gonna be stronger than if that muscle was smaller, okay? But if you are going to try and get into more bodybuilding style focused, don't get caught up in lifting max weights. What you wanna be doing is getting incredibly strong within anywhere between six and 20 reps for exercises. Because if your 15 rep working set is extremely heavy, 
That doesn't mean you're weak because you're not hitting a one rep max. It means you're incredibly strong. Okay, you're just doing more reps. It's not to say that you couldn't <coughs> hit big, big weights because you probably could. Um, but, you know, it's all got different different responses, different meanings, different purpose. And it's all very individual. So the key is to not get caught up in what other people are doing. The key is to make the own decision between strength and hypertrophy for you. For a lot of you, you might want to go more hybrid between that and do kind of like a power building style split where you could do your first two days of the week as strength focused, like an, um, an upper strength, lower strength rest on the Wednesday and then do a Thursday, fr Friday, Saturday bodybuilding split. Okay, so it could be an upper lower strength, rest, push, pull, legs, bodybuilding. That is the probably one of the best train splits that you will ever get if you want to be more all-rounded. You want to work on your powerlifting stuff, you want to work on your bodybuilding stuff, and you kind of want this hybrid style physique strength, okay? That's something I definitely recommend you do. So which one is it for you? Is it strength? Is it hypertrophy? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, if you like videos like this, we're informative, educational, which is just me sitting here chatting, trying to teach you a little bit about lifting. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. If not, maybe don't subscribe. <laughs> maybe consider liking the video. That'll really help out a lot. But for now, guys, hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.